Hi guys! Hello! <laughs> Before we start our episode, we would like to thank all of you who's been watching our episodes and press the like button. We are only three subscribers away from hitting 1000, so we're really, really stoked. If you have not hit the red button yet, please do, because you're gonna make our day. Yeah, if you don't hit the button, you don't get a notification, so please just hit it, hit it. Yeah, and then you're gonna see more of us if you want that. <laughs> but you are here, so <laughs> great, thanks. We are currently in Monastir, Tunisia, and uh, we're gonna be here for another 10 days. We're just waiting for the moon, to uh, full moon, so we can sail to Tripani, Sicily. We also wanted to take the opportunity to thank our new patron, uh, Kiko. Yeah, Kiko, we know you love sailing. You've been sailing all of your life and you're probably way more qualified than we are. I think he's way more qualified. We know you've been studying to become a... Commodore or something? Com I don't know if that still applies, but something like this. Well, you're allowed something to like really... And actually, no, Commodore, wasn't that from the pirates? I don't know. <laughs> well, anyway. you're allowed to, to steer the really big ship, so... All, what, all best luck. What of did you say earlier on? He was allowed to what? Commandeer a Commandeer. ship. That's like stealing <laughs> a ship, man. Kiko, we know that you are at the end of your maritime studies and we really wish you well. And yeah. we want to thank you for believing in us, for trusting us and, and for becoming uh, our patron and being part of our journey. To be honest, we, we love you and uh, we really hope that your studies go well and you eventually become that. Captain Jack Sparrow title that you're wishing for. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to give to you um, as a thank you our Greek flag. Mm -hmm. Our Greek sailing flag. Yeah, we. You can probably put it with your uh, yeah with your trophies, no? With your sailing trophies, because we know you've been racing as well and you love racing boats. So this would be our gift to you. We're gonna send you some other thank yous as well. But like Annika saying, maybe just find some space between your trophies and thank you again. Te queremos mucho. Un beso, un abrazo y nos vemos pronto. Nos vemos pronto. So, we should go back to the episode now, no? Yes, we let you go now and start the episode. Yes. Epic, eh? Is that the entrance? Yeah, I think that was the original I, entrance. I thought it was the guest entrance. Imagine people sitting on these hundreds of years ago in the blistering heat. <laughs> In Greek means city on the air. Also, one of the most important buildings in the world is the Temple of Athena. Oh, is that the surname of Athena? Nike? No, Nike is another goddess. I thought it's called Athena's Nike. They don't have surnames. They're gods. They're gods. <laughs> you guys are, are laughing. You know, you take a piss. You know, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna I look for it. Oh, the Temple of Athena Nike. Oh wow, maybe they do. I don't think it's her surname though. So what does Adidas mean? I don't know, it's just a competition for the it's no, it's <laughs> for the Acropolis. <laughs> Day to cool off and then walk all the way back up here. How old do you think this is? This? 2460 years, can you believe that? We're still walking here. Yeah, it was built by um, the architect, was called per Pericles. Yeah, so it took 50 it's years to build the, the Acropolis. Only Acropolis. 50 years, that's pretty quick. Years. Yeah, that's pretty quick. You know, he built it and then at some point the Persians destroyed it. I think, I don't know if it's 10 years after something like that, but I think the person destroyed it at one point. Which is very sad. But uh, it was his greatest uh, achievement. I think it's Colin. It's not epic. I used to 
built in style. So high up over the city, you can see everything from here. It's quite cool. Can you believe this was built in nine years? Some houses take longer than this. Look at the size. I think if we stood like this, we couldn't we couldn't touch our hands. We wouldn't be able to no, no reach our hands They're around like how tree we trunks. Those I wonder how they moved all of this up here. This the Greeks were master of architecture. Restoration is gonna take longer than the, than the original build. I think so. I think it's very tedious to restore this. It's very difficult. The columns are about 1.9 meters wide on the bottom and 1.5 meters on the top, which makes them slimmer towards the top. It gives the illusion when you're looking up of a perfectly balanced building. Otherwise it would look top heavy and bulky makes it more of an elegant structure. It's all about aesthetics. <laughs> That's why the ladies are holding it up with a head as well. Oh yeah. Aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> so the men wandering around the temples had something to look at <laughs> and to gaze. We survived the taxi ride. Yeah. It's not scary. You don't do brain like crazy. We still have to cross to the other side with the dinghy. We gotta be quick with this. I don't know what this is gonna be, if it's gonna be just rain or thunderstorms. He didn't have GPS, so he didn't know where where we have to go. And then Nika left his mobile phone to him. But instead of putting it somewhere in the front of the taxi, he put it on the passenger seat. And he kept just looking down and we almost crashed two times. And that's when Anika took his phone away and he said, okay, I'll tell you where we're going because we want to live. So it's going to crash into the next car. Can you hear the thunder. Oh, okay, okay, let's go. That was loud. Yeah. 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 yeah, we would have not made it. So why do we all look like we've been partying through the night? Well, I woke up from the anchor alarm, the anchor drag, at about 2, 1.30 in the morning. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I had yeah. A, a stern anchor out as well, and I was more concerned about the stern anchor because I could feel the boat shifting around a little bit. And we realized I had completely dislodged, which was lucky because just as we were outside, the wind picked up from about 15 knots to... 36 knots. 36 knots. Yeah. We had anchored in about 10 meters, and by the time we moved the boat, she was left in five meters we had about two meters under the keel it was yeah we had to move really fast and then we had the pleasure of motoring through gusts of almost 40 knots at yeah. two o'clock in the morning <laughs> to find a new anchorage so it was like dropping the anchor it was like pump <laughs> set that's it yeah this is what it is with the wind so it just blows every day when we go outside it's gonna be easy to tell you thunderstorms just before my birthday. I was hoping we could spend my birthday in Athens. But it's your birthday today. Yeah, it's my birthday today. Woo. I'm not wishing for more. I'm already in a beautiful anchorage. I think it's enough for my birthday. <laughs> We're gonna spend a couple of days here. 
here so we don't have to go out bashing too much. We're all a little bit beat. Shia broke down yesterday. Shia yeah. whole body hurts. <laughs> Everywhere. Oh, thank you. Fluffy. Oh, what I did you do to this? Fluffy. Fluffy. Ooh, look at this. Special occasion. What a, what a treat. <laughs> we can take the dinghy. We can drag it across the beach to the other side. And then we can dinghy on the other side because I think there's a little village at the end. Good coffee. Good view for a coffee. There's even a breeze. I ordered it. It arrived. I ordered it for you as a person. Ah, did you then? Can I got this? And dolphins on me finger. So I went to give a hand to these guys that are struggling to move the boat to the rocks because they don't have bow thrusters. I mean, we don't have it, well, but it's very windy. I tried to have two people more in today because they rent the boat, the charter boat, so they come to the boat and they arrive that they arrive here and they realize that they need rather a dinghy or somebody to swim to shore to get the to prepare the lines and, and bring it back to the boat. You're welcome. Anytime, man. Eh? Thank you. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Come here. Can you? Do that, I am? Should I open it? Should I open it? No, it's fine. You can get anything in there. No, I don't think so, no? no it was a piece of iron that was there. Yeah, it's rusty. Rust is good. Rust is no good? <laughs> <laughs> How about tetanus? Uh, the Greek, the Greek, uh, Greek uh, Clean it, clean it. Rub it hard. I, oh, you, oh, I didn't oh. want to rub it hard, so I don't open it. <laughs> Avoid this injury. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. The stress continues. So this guy just uh, decided to drop the anchor, backed up, and then just put the boat next to the other boat with a couple of lines, and then you put the fender on the other side. But no Only fender to my side. No, no. I help the guy and I slice my foot. I move my line. So yeah, you could say, you know what? Because guys, don't give more stress to these people because they already help me help us more. Say, yeah, if this line breaks, they're on us. Yeah. Good time. After helping our new neighbors to secure their boat, we notice a drifting dinghy that just ran out of fuel. So Sarah's birthday once again turned out to be a rescue mission. And we decided to spend the rest of the day with our new friends.
Nike, the Greek goddess, inspired the most famous sports brands in the world. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And then you guys took the piss. Ba -ba -ba. Come with me, Athena. Let's wear Nike shoes. First the man in flip flops. You might look cinematic too. Yeah, well, it's like, oh, oh, touching oh, the top. <laughs> Cinematic. <laughs> 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 what do you mean?